Hi, this is Russ Anderson. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at the matrix object, which gives you an interesting way to look at the tracking of a shot. So here we've just got a kind of pseudo car chase scene. And we're going to go over and just run the auto tracker on it. And as you might guess with these cars moving around, we do wind up with a tracker sitting on one of the cars here. That's right there. So I'm just going to hit the delete key and take that out. So now I can go and solve the shot. Now let's actually go back to the summary panel. We'll do an auto place. So I just set up a quick ground plane here. So we've got our trackers there. We've got our camera flying around overhead. So now let's go out onto the creation object menu and we'll select this matrix object. Now I'm just going to start dragging in this workspace. And now you see all of a sudden this huge little armada of points. You notice now I'm dragging vertically and I'm bringing them all the way up to basically the height of the camera. So now let's just go to the camera view and we'll start playing the shot. Now you see that this kind of gives you an interesting way to see what's going on. Here we're not really interested in whether things are sliding or not at all. We're, we just kind of threw everything down real quickly. But we're looking at the path of these different objects and, you know, across the uh, camera. And you've got, as a visual reference, all these lines of these markers to take a look. So it, it's a way to look for different problems in the tracking and kind of understand how you're whole 3D environment is set up because a lot of times you don't necessarily have something on the ground you might have things up in the air so this gives you a much better handle on that so let's go look at uh, some of the other details here with this matrix object first off if we just use the standard synthize uh, number button there we can go around and change the number of points around to get more or less of them and you know obviously you can make up enough of them that you're going to drag your machine to a halt. We can also go and start scaling this and let's take a look at what happens. So I'll just drop this down to a much flatter size and now if you take a look at this all of a sudden these guys are all now really flat and here's what happens though if I go and change the number around and force this object to be regenerated then it goes back and recalculates the right scaling taking into account the actual world size scaling so that uh, lets us go and adjust the number of these things and uh, make, sh it, make sure that they uh, maintain kind of squareness. We can also go over to the preferences panel and out in the user interface area there's a setting for the size of these things. So if I drop that down a bit you notice it hasn't changed yet but now when I go and adjust the number of points and force the little matrix object to be recalculated then it goes and takes advantage of that preference. So you can control the size of these as well as the number of the points and use them to fill up your space to whatever degree you want. So I think that's kind of a very useful way to, to see what's going on in your tracking. Thanks a lot and enjoy.